Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today. And uh, so I had to go and swap some boots out. If you guys remember, I had those K2 Datas, and they were nice. Don't get me wrong, I liked them, they were light. Except for one thing, I went back to uh, the store, and the guy behind the counter was like, want to see why these boots are so bad? He grabbed the boot right here and right here, and he literally crunched it in half. And he's like, I did that like less than a pop can. He's like, they're a very, very soft boot they're not stiff at all and then i said yeah and the second thing was is the boot was falling apart already and it was less than a month old um don't get me wrong i like the k2 stuff so that's why i ended up with another k2 boot uh i ended up getting a really wicked deal on these because the other ones were failing and of course they have the boa system so you can unwind it and then lock it in and then Screw it to your foot so that way it uh, sits a little bit tighter. Or as they say, it has a more even uh, tightness to it because it's not like uh, shoelaces where one of them will be super loose and then the next one will be super tight depending on uh, the kind of boot you have. So I ended up with these bad boys. And these are the K2 Raiders. And uh, I can't wait to get on the mountain with these next time. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that when they were already uh, falling apart. That sucked. But at least we were able to get some new boots. And, again, these things are so comfy. Like, I already put them on at the store. And, uh, they, you know what, they felt just as free as the other ones, but they are a stiffer boot. But uh, if you're wondering uh, between the two, if you have to choose between, say, the Data or the Raider... I would definitely go for the Raider all the way. It's such a beautiful boot uh, compared to uh, the Data. And again, there's a reason why I guess the Datas are one of the cheaper K2 boots. But uh, again, for I think it was like three snowboarding sessions is what I had on them. And they were the, like some of the uh, threads. For example, back here, one of these ones was already coming apart and coming out. I was getting a really bad seam right here too that was starting to tear along here. It was just, it was bad. Either way, glad that uh, I picked these up because they're really, really comfy. And they have the BOA system. The liner is the same for tightening. It's just the pull on here to release. Where is it here? Boom. And then unhook this, do that. Put your foot in there probably got something in it like they always do yeah pull that out give me one sec here oh gotta love when they put the stocking stuffers is what i call them inside the boots but i must have tried on the other one at but see put it on like that tuck this in if you want i'm not gonna really tighten that one we'll just leave that Click this in, tighten it up. Done. You can do it while you're standing so that way you don't have to sit in the cold snow. And that way, boot is nice and it's on. Then you slip the next one on and do the same. When you want it off, click here, wind that back. Of course, you'll have to loosen your liner by pulling that tab again. Do that. Foot on the bottom, boot's off. It's no trying to tie when your icy laces have just been in the snow all day. Anyways, I uh, hope this video helps you out when you're choosing out boots. I do love the BOA system. I mean, it can be a bit scary because if you break the BOA, then you're, don't have, it's not like breaking a lace. If you break the BOA system, you're kind of hooped. But then again, uh, there's a lot of good reviews on it that I've read. And um, from personal experience, from seeing people on the mountain, and seeing that the mountain actually uses, or most mountains use the BOA system on their rental boots now, it's got to say something about how reliable it is. Anyways, thanks again. Talk to you later.